Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. If you like these types of videos, please consider supporting us by hitting the like button and clicking subscribe below. We post videos daily to help encourage you on your walk with Jesus. Now, on to today's thought. Today's thought. The intellect of the wise is like glass. It admits the light of heaven and reflects it. Hair. Proverbs 2. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom, and apply thine heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and liftest up my voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, and searchest for her as for hid treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord, and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment, and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness, and judgment, and equity, yea, every good path. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, who leave the paths of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked and they forward in their paths, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth, and forgetteth the covenant of her God. For her house inclineth unto death, and her pass unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take their hold of the pass of life. That thou mayest walk in the way of good men, and keep the pass of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. In Proverbs 1, Solomon revealed that the beginning of obtaining wisdom is to reverence, respect, and regard the Lord, and His commandments. This trust in God is referred to as the fear of the Lord. Trusting in the Lord and His guidance is further expounded in Proverbs 2. After hearing His words from the Bible, or sources referencing it, they will often be stored or hidden in the back of one's mind and accessed when needed. Proverbs 1 1 says, My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee. However, if one never hears or reads God's words, there will be no wisdom to apply when required. It is so vital that one pays close attention to God's words so that it can be learned and used in the future. Many hear God's wisdom, but it makes little difference in their lives. They are still led by their own foolishness and not guided by God's wisdom. Mistakes and regrets are much a part of their lifestyles. Perhaps it does not change their lives because they really were not looking for wisdom in the first place. They may be content in their spiritual blindness. It amazes me how people are so different. Two can be sitting together during good Bible preaching. One listens and is drastically affected by what he has heard. His intent is to make changes in his life as soon as possible. The other listener is not affected at all. There is no conviction nor any desire to apply what is heard in his life. It seems that the message went in one ear and tumbled onto the floor. 
Usually the difference is because one recognizes weakness and error, but the other did not. It seems his heart is indifferent and not seeking wisdom at all. Seeking, hearing, and obeying the word of God can make a big difference in one's life. Those actions are the key to having the mind and wisdom of Christ. With his understanding, one's life will be much different and will be pleasing to oneself and to the Lord. Heavenly Father, thank you for the many words of wisdom that are contained in the book of Proverbs. I pray that I may accept your word with all readiness and store it up in my heart. I pray that I would treasure the scriptures more than I would value much silver and gold. And I ask for your help to search out the truths that are hidden within its pages. I pray that I may develop a deep and reverential fear for your holy name and hide your its truth in my heart, that I might not sin against you. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen.